I started this video because I was trying to help 199G sauerkraut and other viewers who like the look and functionality of the LWS 2200H, but found that the strap was just going to be too small for them. I also needed to fix my own problem with a strap on one of these, and at the same time, I unexpectedly kind of reproduced the aesthetic of Casio's new watch, the GMDS 5600, and uh, yeah, so take a look. I will try to put all of the details in here on exactly how I did this in case you want to do it yourself, but there'll be a lot of extra information right at the end for people that are not interested in actually doing this project yourself. You may want to just skip the end of the video. I made a video a while ago about the wonders of the LWS 2200H, which I really believe is Casio's best productivity watch, even including the fancy G-Shock watches. However, the problem is that this strap is going to be too short for some people. And while this works great for me, and I actually really love this style, there are other problems that can happen as well. For example, I have it in the brownish color, but the strap on here was starting to discolor. So what I did, I removed the straps. Now all you have to do is inside here there's a little pin and right you can get right in there and push that direction and pull the pin out and then put it back in once the strap is off so remove the pin from the strap and put it back in so then you have what you can see here the pin just sitting in the holes with nothing through it then i went and purchased this strap what i have here is a marathon strap and this one is 16 millimeters and then I got the one that was 10 inches long, but they have longer ones that are also 16 millimeters as well. I got this in desert tan because I believed it would match the tan color inside here. And in fact, it looks really good. Anyway, I am like so psyched about this. I was in the middle of doing this and I thought I just needed to make a video to show you because it, I almost gave up. It's pretty tight. This is it's barely wider. Like when you look on this side, there's like no space at all. And this will give it a premium appearance when we're done. I've actually been using my little pliers to help get this through. Okay, I'm just barely getting the tip of it out there. Is it enough to grab with this? I don't think so. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're getting this through. That's how it ends up looking on the back. You can tell that this strap is really going to bug me, and this is not an adjustable keeper, so I'm going to cut it right. I'm tracing the curve that I want to use. This is actually pretty similar to this curve, but interestingly, this is <laughs> this is for Swiss Army Knife washi tape. I'll show you that in another video, but I, I like the curve on there. So I'm just going to cut right along the edge, and I'm not too worried about the ink. Okay, very gently just let the flame kind of lick over the edge on this for a second and okay this is great this is super comfortable i like how it sits right under the keeper there i love how these colors look together i could not be happier with this watch modification I was so surprised to see how similar this kind of creation was to the GMDS 5600, a watch which I have really been admiring. Obviously, the quality is a lot different, but I gotta say there's a lot more features on the LWS 2200H. Following this will be some instructions about length and price if you want to do this mod yourself. Thanks for watching. This watch strap currently looks a little darker because it's drying, but I'm laying these out here so that we can look at the difference in watch strap length. So this right here is the 10 inch watch strap. This also is available in 11 inch, but currently this color is not available in 11 inch. However, the black color is available in 11 inch. Now looking, trying to line this up here, all right, I'm going to measure the distance here, and this is obviously a bit of an estimate. Let's actually move these over, and then I'm going to zoom in so we can really see a little bit better. All right. So we are at about, oh, not somewhere between a half, about an extra half an inch, which is not super far if you just go with this 10 inch strap. However, my wrist is 5.9 inches and I want to give you an idea of what size 
wrist would work with this. So if I'm 5.9 inches and measuring right here, you can get another one and a quarter inches, which is that would give you seven inches. And this would give you up to seven and a half inches. And if that one inch longer watch strap actually gives you holes one inch further that direction, you could go up to eight and a half inches. That is actually pretty reasonable. Let's talk price then. The list price on these is $43. I actually think it's worth it, but compared to other budget watches, that is quite a bit of money. Um, you can often find them on Amazon, fortunately, at least in the United States, for about $32. However, these straps are $15. So even if you get this, and both of these are the ones that tend to be available for $32, even if you get this for $15, you're now back up to $47 for this watch. Thank you so much for watching.